You ever wish Celeste had more levels? I find myself wishing that sometimes. The good news, however, is that Celeste is very moddable. Yes, a ton of levels you can play today, and yes, all of this is available on your Steam Deck. But if you like this video or any other video I've made, please like, subscribe, and share with all of your friends. And in the meantime, why don't you check out Off the Console? It's a brand new podcast created by me, Gardner Bryan, and Games Revealed, with guest stars occasionally. And while yes, it's on YouTube, it's also available wherever podcasts can be found, like Spotify or Apple Podcasts. Check it out. Celeste modding is very easy, and yes, it's accessible on the Steam Deck, but I will give you a fair warning. There are quite a few Celeste maps that are made for more advanced players, like really advanced players. That's why on average, modded levels are a little more difficult than your standard Celeste levels. Of course, there are other types of mods, mods that might make the game even easier for you if so desired. Of course, the linchpin of this entire operation is Everest, which is an open source mod loader for Celeste. The mod loader itself has quite a few features, but of course we can go over that later. Of course to get started you'll need a copy of Celeste installed. Now obviously for simplicity's sake, since this is meant to be a Steam Deck tutorial, I am going to install the Steam version of Celeste, and yes on my micro SD card as well. But the instructions don't really change between your micro SD or your SSD install. Of course, Everest supports other installations of Celeste from other storefronts like itch.io or GOG. Now for those who may know, Celeste does have a native Linux build available. But of course, if you're downloading Celeste onto your Steam Deck, it will default to downloading the Windows version with an .exe file. And coincidentally, Everest prefers the .exe version of Celeste as opposed to the native Linux binary at least from what I understand. Anyways, once you get Celeste installed, you'll want to be in desktop mode. And from there, you'll want to open up your web browser and search for Everest Mod Loader. There will be a link in the description down below. You'll see a button that says Install Everest. Click on it. And from there, it'll give you some written instructions on how to install Everest. And of course, technically, you are on Linux if you're doing this on a Steam Deck. You'll want to click on the link that says Download the latest Auto Builder. It'll download a zip file. And inside that zip file is another zip file. You'll want to extract both zip files into like a separate folder. And inside that folder that you extracted the second layer zip into, you'll see a couple of different files. Most importantly, however, you'll see an install.sh file. Now, fair warning, you will need to use a terminal once, but only once. Once you've done that, you'll want to right click a blank space inside that folder and press open terminal here. Now if you haven't set an admin password for your Steam Deck, it's recommended you do so. Type in passwd in the command line and then you'll have to make a new password. Remember this password because it's important. And then you'll want to type this in, sudo space period slash install.sh. This will run the script in admin mode, allowing it to install directly into your applications folder making it more integral in the system. And now you're done with the hardest part of the tutorial. Now you can find the Olympus launcher for Everest in your start menu. And of course, adding it to Steam is as simple as right clicking it and then pressing add to Steam. But of course, we're not actually done yet. Now you'll need to launch the Olympus launcher. You'll see in the bottom left corner a button that says manage and it'll be highlighted in red. Click on that and it'll let you manage all of your various installs of Celeste in case you have multiple. In this case though, we only have just the one on my microSD card. Everest does scan typical places you would install Celeste, like for example the microSD card. But if you choose to install Celeste elsewhere, like with GOG manually in its own folder, you can just manually select your Celeste executable. Just press add and it's already ready. You can also rename your various different installs if need be, but of course I only have one install so I'm just gonna not bother. Once that's done, you'll want to press the main menu button on the top left corner, and then you'll see the Install Everest button. Inside this menu, you'll see all of your various installations, but also a bunch of different versions of Everest. Now, generally speaking, if you're just a regular player, I would recommend using the latest stable version. But you can choose a beta version as well, or you can choose an older version if so desired. Just select whatever version of Everest you want, and then press the install button towards the bottom. Now it'll make changes to your executable file. The installation process shouldn't take too long. 
And once you're done, you can choose to launch the game as it is or press OK. But of course, now I want to download some mods, so I'm going to press OK. Now, as you can see, the main menu's changed quite a bit. You can launch Everest or just Vanilla Celeste. But of interest are the buttons below. You get to download mods, manage mods, open a map editor, or just options for the launcher itself. Of course, we want to download mods, so we're going to press download mods. See, this launcher, Olympus, pulls mods directly from Game Banana. Now here, you have the option of going through different categories like featured, most recent, but you can also sort by most popular as well. Or if you have a specific mod in mind, like for example the Glyph mod, you can type it in the search bar. Just press that green download button and for some mods it'll give you access to multiple different versions of the mod. Generally, it's recommended you select the green version if this menu ever pops up because it's the latest version and it'll probably work best with the latest version of Celeste. And once you press the download button, it'll download and it'll automatically install the mod and like place the mod in the mod folder. Of course, this menu also works in game mode as well. But there is a bit of an issue with in-game mode. See, I'm trying to type things into the search bar in game mode using the Steam keyboard, but no actual letters are being typed. Now I'm not sure why this is the case, but it just is. To be honest, I was trying to find a fix for this and I couldn't find one, so if anyone knows of any fixes or if maybe I should just report this to the developers of Olympus, then yeah. But other than that though, the download mod functionality works just fine. And now we can actually launch the game. You can choose a launcher from the Olympus launcher, or you can choose to just launch the game directly from Steam since the EXE has been changed permanently anyways. Now do keep in mind, typically Celeste loads really fast off of a micro SD card, but of course if you have a ton of mods, it will take longer. And yes, Celeste is finally loaded. Now upon booting Everest for the first time, it'll ask you what you want to do. Now of course you probably want to play mods, that's what I selected. But you can choose something else in case you already know what you want to do. It also shows you some commonly changed settings as well. But of course, you can always go into the special mod option screen. Now I only downloaded two mods, but it seems like two mods have failed to load. What's up with that? Well, if you go to the mod options, it'll tell you what happened. What you see here is the fact that these two mods I downloaded Glyph and also Strawberry Jam 2021, it needs dependencies. Now, to be honest, I didn't know these mods had dependencies, but here's the really cool thing about Everest. You can just press that install missing dependencies button and it'll just install whatever the mods need to work. You know, usually in the form of other mods that the mods need to work. So yes, it's downloading all of this from Game Banana as well. All of these different dependencies that these mods need. And Strawberry Jam 2021 does need a lot of things. So the built-in version of Everest will download the mod dependencies and then just restart itself when needed. And you are ready to go. Now, how do you access any of this modded content? Well, it's simple, really. You do need a save file that's already beaten the prologue. You know, the little tutorial level where there's just a giant bridge and then you learn how to dash and all that stuff. You need to beat that level. And then when you're at the level select screen, you can actually select which mod you want to play. So while I've downloaded only two actual level mods, there are a bunch of other things showing up here. But these all look like, well, the dependencies. And I wish these were kind of hidden away because they're only really there to make the two major level mods that I downloaded function. That said, the baseline of the game is that you've beaten the game already, so if you've never played Celeste before, I would recommend actually playing the base game first and then go through the B-sides and then maybe go through the C-sides if you want. But afterwards, yeah, you're good to go. Celeste mods are a lot of fun. There are levels made for beginners and there are also levels made for pure masochists people that really hate themselves or are really, really good at Celestes or like, you know, speedrunners. While the vast majority of mods are in fact maps, there are some things like character mods or UI mods, things like that. If you like this video, please press the like button and check out our other videos. And if you like those other videos as well, be sure to press the subscribe button and share the good gospel of high tech low life with your friends. Furthermore, we have a community discord for enlightened individuals such as you. And if you wish to further support high tech low life, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description.